on him? Or oh, what? yeah. <laughs> Starts have kind of been the Achilles heel. Did you think that was a different fight? Start and finish. It was very good. So, start like that. Would we spend the first four shifts in our... We rolled four lines through in the first start of the game and we couldn't get out of our own end. So, yeah, I guess the start would be part of it. What was, um, what did they do that made it tough for your team tonight? You know what? They played very good. They played a good hockey game. They skated, they moved the puck. They did a lot of things. And I give them a lot of credit. You know what? They suffered a setback last night, responded very well today. I'm still not sure if it was so much what they did to us or what we didn't do to them. So. One of the positives on the night, it seemed like, was the line of Sutter, Lowry, and Brodzinski. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw with them? There was a shining moment. There was a group of three that I was quite happy with, extremely happy with. Johnny Brodzinski was the best player on our team. I wouldn't say he was on the ice, or because they had a couple of good players tonight. But for us, Johnny Brodzinski was clearly the best player on the ice, and that line was very, very good. Ten shots on goal for Brodzinski. You shooting enough? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's that's terrific. He had ten shots. Do you know how many sh shots other guys had? Yeah. How many did Chris Senzi have? None. How many did Kempe have in the middle when I had him in the middle? None. How many did Leitner have? None. And Newbery had one. So that's not creating a whole lot of offense from the middle of your ice. And if Brzezinski can have 10, how can those four guys have one between the four of them? So that's a question you might want to ask them.